hello guys in this tutorial we are going to see how to calculate sum and average from the data in csv file so the code which you are seeing currently is the same one which we have done to uh, extract the data from csv and draw the line so on the expected output from this tutorial is this one now we will get this total sales and average so all we are going to do is pull the data from csv and create a table this is uh, first row and this is second row and i am going to place this statistics in uh, of uh, the sum statistics will be in the first row and the average will be in the second row let's do it so uh, just a recap uh, this is the this block will import the csv file and uh, create the array of element uh, array of uh, elements and we are passing this elements in, uh, we have captured the data in the ds variable and we are passing this to this function fun line uh, it is nothing but which is used to create the line let's create the new function which will give us the statistics which we are expecting now so i am writing it stands which stands for function statistics here we start with the for loop to iterate the sales i less than it is the data set length this is going to be very simple just uh, i will be using the variable total and i will sum it from uh, this is the some complex part actually it is a multi dimensional array so i stands for first row and sales so it will iterate first row sales second row sales and up to the uh, length now average average is very simple total divided by ds dot length that's all now we have calculated our statistics now let's store this create this variable and make it as 0.0, .0. i mean i am initializing the variable as 0.0, .0. And the next step is creating table from D3. For table, if you see in HTML, uh, we will write the table tag inside the body tag. Uh, inside the table tag, we have another two tags, TR and TD, which stands for row and the cell. Uh, we are going to do exactly the same thing but using d3 in the d3 way now tab dot select all i am going to select all tr now i need to feed the data array i need to create an array to feed this uh, sum and uh, average let's create that later now we can complete the skeleton enter you can just memorize this select data enter select data enter is it it is common for all the d3 code append i am going to append the row and i am going to append the cell so it now creates two cell 
inside the cell I need to return the text let's create a function uh, so I, as I said we need to create an array let's create an empty array where stats so now we have already calculated the statistics average and total let's push those value inside this stats so to do that you need to write push and the same thing you can copy here total sales and the variable name total similarly for average average now I will pass this newly created array to the data stats So this is all I think we can run and check all save and just saved let's refresh it so there is a problem okay uh, I forgot to call the function again I'm running that so we actually got our output but it is displaying the object value now we need to convert it to the numeric so we can do that by multiplying by 1 here actually we need to multiply by 1 Now this should rectify our numbers to the correct values. We got 568 but uh, now the problem is here we can see there are many days after. Uh, it's after uh, there will be totally 16 characters. So we need to place the decimal to make it as two decimal points. So to do that we need to use two fixed. in that uh, yeah we can do it here Two. this should reduce the decimal to two points yeah so thank you guys this is all I have got today